Okay, what's going on today, guys? Welcome back to another stream. I'm your host, BusyWorksBeats.com. Happy 9-11, by the way, guys. Happy 9-11. Should I put up, like, the towers in the background to commemorate it? Do you think that's, uh... Is that an American thing to do, or is that, like, more of a terrorist thing to do? Like, I'm trying to read the room here. Should I put the towers behind me or not? I mean, they're not gonna be on fire. You know, like, if they're not on fire, I think it's fine if they're not on fire, right? Too soon? I mean, how, how soon is too soon? It's been 22 years. We got Venus Theory... Being a sad boy again, being a really sad man. You know what? I I explore the the Twitch music channel sometimes, and there's so many people giving mix advice. You know what I mean? Like if you click on the title, you think he explores YouTube too? Like, do you think he's seen my channel? He's like, this fucking guy, this fucking or whatever. Like, oh, mix advice or whatever, and then you you watch people submit stuff, and then they're like rating or trying to give some kind of sound mixing advice and it's like it's it, there's so many and like 99.9% .9 of them have no idea what they're talking about it's hilarious it's like sometimes punish I don't know if it's that high but myself and watch these and I'm like Ugh. feedback it's like yeah but there's no there's no uh, yeah feedback in general not just like mix advice per se but it's just like feedback and then it's just like oh that's fire or it's not, you know, and that's it. But you're just asking like this. <laughs> that's fire. That is pretty common though. I mean, I feel like it can be valuable, but I think most people don't do it very well. One guy's opinion and everyone's like, oh, it's, it's really weird. The kick is too loud. <laughs> yeah, It's like trying to find something wrong with something that it's inherently not wrong. That's the problem, you know? Well, I mean, there's... It's just, yeah, I know. There's definitely there's definitely a point where it's like, okay, yeah, that kick is way too loud objectively, you know? Like, there's definitely, like, a subjective point where it's like, okay, yeah, maybe a couple decibels, maybe you want it that way or something. But when it's, like, 10 dB too loud, it's, like, overpowering the track. Where's the lie? He has a point. He definitely has a point. When are you going to give your co-host a permanent spot in your streams? Hey, if you want to come in here, Casey, you can. They're challenging you. They want to, one person said they want to hear you in here. Or they're listening to like audio through Twitch on headphones and they're like, oh yeah. Yeah, hot. It's like, it's like the producer equivalent to hot knobbing when they pretend to like submissions. What the fuck is hot knobbing? Big T on here. That's the kick clouds, everyone. Uh, give it up for kick clouds. I really need to set up my, uh, my sound effects so I can hit you with the, the clap. Wait, do I have it? No. What is hot knobbing, guys? Oh, there we go. Uh. Casey has it set up. All right, yeah, you got me. All right. That's um, what I'm here for. I can't believe I got blocked by Dead Mouse a few years ago. What did you do to him? What'd you do to him? When people act like knobs are hot, that isn't. That can't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. It's a DJ thing. Okay, you guys gotta explain this a little better to me. He probably got blocked for offering a music production feedback. <laughs> it's when they twist a knob two cents and then fling their hand away from the mixer like it's on fire. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love that. I love when people do that. Yeah, I love that. People need to do that more. I got banned by BusyWorks Beats. What'd you do? That sounds a lot more reasonable. I can believe that. I didn't do shit. I didn't do fucking shit. Kinda wanna see more Dead Mouse clips. Let's see what this guy's got on his channel here. Best DAW to start with? That sounds interesting. I don't care about your takes, sir. I just wanna hear Dead Mouse, okay? Oh my god, is that how people feel about me? He's gonna tell you it's Reaper and you're gonna click off the video. Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna stream if he says Reaper. There's no way. He's okay, wait, let's try to predict what he's gonna say, guys. My thought, he's probably gonna say which everyone feels more most comfortable for you. I feel like that is the most safe take. Although I don't think he's very safe with what he says, but I feel like that's the most like reasonable one. Tell us about how rich you are, Weaver. Well, I did buy myself a shirt at the show the other night. <laughs> I actually bought two of them. I bought I bought two of them. Huh? Huh? He also drinks Starbucks every day. I don't drink Starbucks every day. I stopped doing Keep that. Keep that in mind, chat. Keep I do not. Mind. I do not drink Starbucks every day, all right? What are you talking about? No, no, I do not. I actually, I had co I, I made my own coffee this morning. I'm trying to, I'm trying to save money. So that he can get more Starbucks. So that I can get a Tesla. No, I'm just kidding. I don't oh, know. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. Come on, dude. Do you, you read the secret yet or what? Come on, dude. So Richie drinks Starbucks twice a day. No, nah, these are actually, uh, uh, ashamedly, these are from last night. At least I'm not rich enough to have a maid. Starbucks and Infiltrator. So do, uh, do not buy Starbucks. Save your money. All right. Do not buy Infiltrator. Okay. Well, you know, maybe, maybe buy Infiltrator, but okay. What happened is him and Suicide Boys had problems with the sample. Deadmau sued them. And when Suicide Boys were able to have the song that sampled him on streaming service, I DM him asking about why he was so upset about the sample. He blocked me and went to his suburb and asked why. And he called me an idiot. Well, that sounds pretty reasonable of him. What do you record this on? Fucking 
Windows 95? Jesus Christ. And, and equipment for beginners. Well, you don't really need equipment if you're just beginning. You just need software. Loops, True. Or Ableton. Whatever. You know, honestly, anything goes at that point. Like, I feel like the best thing to do here would be to give the worst advice. Start out on Reason. Start out on a Reaper. Start out with hardware. <laughs> Start out with uh, LMMS. Or if you really want to save it, just go straight into Reaper. If you're not a DAW pro after learning Reaper, then... Wait, what the fuck, dude? He actually unironically said Reaper. You know, there's something wrong with you. But if you basically, if you figure Reaper out, anything else is a joke. And Reaper is more or less free. Yeah, it's kind of free. Like, there's a paid version. It's like I mean, that does make sense, like, in, in the sense of, um, you know, if you can learn Reaper or Reason or something. Well, I guess, you know, Reaper is actually worse than Reason in terms of um, accessibility. So, if you can learn Reaper, I guess you could learn anything. <laughs> 40 bucks, something stupid. Reaper's insane, like in terms of flexibility. God, the UI is a nightmare and the yeah. customization is a nightmare. But yeah. for a DAW, it's pretty complete. Yeah, I mean, you know, Ableton and Fruity Loops, if you just want like a, a nice, easy. I haven't ever met somebody that uses Reaper that isn't also a massive nerd. Everybody who uses Reaper is like the biggest fucking nerd I've ever met. They're like, actually, you can do this with Reaper. Wait, did he say Reaper? He said like, like Ableton or what, like yada yada. But he was like, if you can learn Reaper, then you could use anything. So like, oh, he God. he kind of unironically did suggest Reaper, but I don't think you should start with Reaper. That's insane. If you learn Reaper first, you could code your own DAW after. Yeah, we doing feedback? No. Didn't you hear what Dead Mouse said? That is worthless. It is worthless. So we're gonna listen to Dead Mouse. We can give him feedback right now. That was pretty fire. But I didn't. I that was know. pretty fire, but I think you could work That's on the mix. Good. The kick didn't really cut yeah. through very well for me. What he's saying does make sense. That if you learn Reaper, you can learn everything. But I would not start with Reaper. That's going to get you. Maybe he's trying to get people to quit making music to like kind of thin out the herd. My friends were using Reason. So I went to Reason after and I used Reason for like five years. So I kind of basically started with Reason. Is the queue long at all? There's no fucking queue. What the hell, man? What, what makes you think there's feedback? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bro, I gave you your feedback already. It was. Okay, wait, wait, wait. The mix needs some work, dude. Come on. Yeah. I don't know. It, was, it wasn't really cutting through for me at like 500 hertz or so. The vocals, you know, they kind of sounded thin, too. Kind of tinny. Yeah, and the album art sucks. You need to fix the album art. Yeah. You know, just, you know, just start over, actually. Breezy, beautiful cover girl so lie that you can, you know, familiarize yourself with, but don't get too familiar, because if you start switching DAWs, then all that goes out the window. I never really recommended Fruity Loops for anyone just starting out. Good well, that's crazy. That, that, that aged like... Are they just like milk? Luck leaving Fruity Loops. You know what I mean? You'll True. get as far as Mark. Well, there, okay, wait, that's a good point, though, because like it has like such a weird workflow compared to other DAWs. It's just not similar to other DAWs, even though it is good. It's not going to make sense for you to switch to other DAWs. And Garrick's animals, and then that'll be the height of your prayer, because if you go to start using a real DAW with everything you've ever learned at Fruity Loops... Like oh, whoa, he said real DAW. Okay, guy. whoa. All right. Like, you know, to be like, where's the step sequencer? You know, like, where's the, you know, it's like. Uh, well, I don't know enough about FL to, like, you know, give you 100% the reason for that. But just the, the way it works is kind of awkward compared to, compared to other DAWs, in my opinion. Like, you know, the step sequencer, as you mentioned. I think it's more right-brained, in my opinion. Like, it's just, it's not as streamlined. Like, you have mm. to do a little bit of different things. Like, connecting tracks to the mixer. Like, that, that's, I don't know, that part messes me up. Yeah, I don't know. The, the part that's always been weird to me about FL is like the whole, I don't know, like the whole step sequencer plus the playlist plus the, the, um, the actual arrangement area plus the mix bus. Like it just, I feel like there's like more shit there than there needs to be. You know, like, it, I don't know. That's one yeah, thing I like about connected. Yeah, I, that's one thing I like about Ableton. It feels all connected. You know, it doesn't feel as like there's a bunch of different things here. You got to open up this thing to you to do that, etc. There, like, it's just like, okay, we've got one view tab. You got the other view. That's it. The busting in FL is impossible. Is that really a bad thing though? Um, I mean, I guess it's just different, you know? Stop, I'm not I'm not hating FL Studio. After using Ableton for a very long time, Bitwig is looking pretty appealing. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's true if you feel like you're navigating a lot of windows in FL. What, what I do like about FL is the piano roll for sure. That is the one thing. And then like the speed of it, the step sequencer makes it really fast. It's like the ZBrush of 3D modeling. It's just such an abstraction. Well, it's bad in the sense of workflow because it literally has no correlation to any other DAW. You know what I mean? What DAW do you know that behaves and feels and works in a multi-track capacity like, like, like FL Studio? None. Yeah, that's kind of what I was saying. 
You know what I mean? So it's unique in that sense. Someone actually gives you a Pro Tools project and you have to open it up in Pro Tools. Hire an engineer to sort that out for you because... Mom! Someone gave me a logic file! Yeah, or whatever, you know. <laughs> Ableton is Ableton is pretty good. It's like a it's like a, a cartoony version of a DAW. Oh come on now, come on now, come on man, don't do it, don't do us like that. Oh, come on. What a DAW should be, basically, you know, it's everything's there in the right order. Like you know, you have your linear stuff and and the way that you know things work and, and levels and stuff like that. But it, of course, it has its own quirks when you go into perform mode. It does things like totally differently because then you're working with like clip based editing. Whereas, like, good luck setting up clip based editing in Cubase or Reaper. Yeah, I felt mixers just ghastly, man. I, I couldn't stand it. There's like mm. no monitoring. You're, you're basically just, what does this do? You know, even if you knew what you were doing, you didn't know what you were doing, you know? Okay. <laughs> Makes sense to me. <laughs> All right, what are you guys thinking about that in the chat? Seemed a little DOS to me. Yeah. To yeah, DOS. -ous. Don't get what he means by the mixer stuff, not gonna lie. Ableton has to be one of the most depressing DAWs. How is it the most depressing DAW ever? Come on, explain yourself. Explain yourself. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need explanation stat. I'm gonna just stick with Logic Pro and Luna. I can't imagine making music in something like Logic or Pro Tools just because it feels like a mixing DAW, you know? Not that you can't do it, but it just doesn't feel like right to me. He just wishes there was an engagement cord inside Ableton. You know what I mean? Like, that's all. That's all. That's all he needs, dude. True. Ableton is only depressed because you haven't installed themes. Ableton is only depressed because you haven't installed the engagement corner. One. News articles posting you are retiring soon. Are they? Why are they? Why would they say that? Oh, I mean, sure. I mean, but not like anytime in the next couple months or whatever. Oh, because of my Reddit thing? Oh, so I, I say like I'm slowing down and then like whatever on Reddit and now everyone's picked up the ball and ran off and said I'm retiring. Dude, I'm not LMFAO or Redfoo. Am I? I mean, well, I could be, but I don't dress like a clown. Not gonna lie though, the only, I mean, it's kind of rich coming from me because it's like people are like, well, I don't know a single song from you, but I feel like the only song I know from him is that one back when everybody was uh, on pills, you know? Whoa. Whoa, he's got six million monthly listeners. I remember. Yeah, that's that's like literally the only song I know from him. I mean, he's got some he's got some numbers though. This is pretty crazy. One hundred and sixty one million. Yeah, literally. I remember. I feel like it's the only thing I've ever really like I know from him. What about you guys in the chat here? So I, a lot of people know Ghosts and stuff. Apparently, the only song I know from him is the song he sued Suicide Boys for sampling. I've just been having talks with like management and everyone on the team, and I'm like, look. By the time I'm 45, I definitely want to slow things down a bit and just, you know, take a more business seat than touring all the time. That's all that means. I don't think it means retiring. What am I going to do? <laughs> you know, like, okay, okay. So say I retire, like, now. Say, say like, I'm a retired. Okay, what do I do? I just sit on couch and play God of War? Sit on couch, play God of War. Like, I gotta do something, man. I still got a studio. I know. Go work at Hot Topic. He said feedback streamers don't know what, we're what they're talking about. <sighs> I can't do feedback anymore, man. He ruined me. Shit, I gotta go tell Curtis King, man. He said, he said you don't know what you're talking about. You guys got beef now? Okay, that was our Daft Punk segment there, guys. Put some respect on Deadmau 5's fucking name, dude. Deadmau5. <laughs> he, he made Darude by, by Sandstorm Darude, dude. He made that song. True. Incorporated.